So iOS 16 brought a really cool feature that allows us to basically mirror our Apple Watch to our iPhone. And doing this is actually very, very basic. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have an Apple Watch Series 6, 7, or 8. If you don't have those Apple Watches, you're not going to be able to do it. But also, you want to make sure you're on WatchOS 9 and you're on iOS 16 on the latest version on your iPhone as well. So the first thing we want to do is you want to make sure Apple Watch and iPhone are paired. That should be a given. So now what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our iPhone settings. And we want to scroll down until we see accessibility. So go and click on accessibility, which is right there. And then when we go ahead and turn here, we'll see this new little option that says Apple Watch mirroring. Now, if you don't see this, then that either means you're not on iOS 16, either you're not on WatchOS 9 in your Apple Watch, and or you don't have an Apple Watch Series 6 or 8 through 8. So 7 is included. So now what you want to do is click on Apple Watch mirroring. And then what we want to do up top is you want to go ahead and basically turn on this toggle and you'll see at the bottom, it'll go ahead and kind of turn on this specific thing right there. And it'll basically show you exactly whatever you're doing on your Apple Watch. So now if I were to go ahead and swipe up and down, it'll go ahead and show on my Apple Watch, but I can also control my Apple Watch from my iPhone. So if I go and click on this little you know, clock icon here, or that may not work, if I go and swipe up, you can basically see I can swipe up on my specific Apple Watch here too. I can go and swipe on here. I can go and kind of configure it however I want to. I can also click on the digital crown on the side and it's a little finicky. Sometimes it works as you can see. And I can also go ahead and maneuver my watch like this too. Now it's not like perfect, it definitely has some issues, but I think it'll get better over time and it's actually not bad. So here if I wanna go and open up like the calculator app or if I wanna go into settings here, it basically will give you a bigger experience of your Apple Watch, which I actually do like. And like I said, the specific buttons do work, but they're a little finicky, but sometimes if you just click on them like that, and that is it. Now if you wanna go ahead and you know disconnect it, all you have to do is go and click on the X button here, or you can just tap on the top. I guess the top doesn't work. You can just click on the X button there, and that is all you have to do. And then it'll go and disconnect from your Apple Watch, and that's basically the process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, then let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I'll sell up every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.